Okay, uh, this video today is about how to install GNOME or GNOME desktop environment in Fedora 26 Mate or Mate Edition. Um, this is all the information going to be on the video description or on my blogs. Um, it's very easy to do it. What you're going to do, you're going to open the terminal. And what you want to, I already did the installation, but I'm just going to show um, so you just have to do uh, you can just copy and paste the information here. Pseudo Yung Group Style Gnome Desktop Environment. I already did the installation. Uh, I'm just going to click enter here to show the update. Already the installation. Okay, uh, this installation I already did the installation, but uh, <coughs> uh, for each desktop environment, it's gonna take the uh, the maximum amount of one gigabyte. So um, uh, on 30 gigabyte home partition, you can have all the desktop environment available on, on Fedora. And uh, to select the, the, the desired desktop environment that you that you did the installation, you just have to do is on the login screen. You can choose which desktop environment you want to choose. You want to use. This is about the GNOME desktop. So um, so you just have to do is copy and paste the command here, and that's it. This is a very quick video. And uh, this, the, all the information is going to be, the link is going to be on the video description. After I have all the videos about the each desktop environment, I will make a video logging in and out of every, uh, uh, of every desktop uh, environment on Fedora and I will show how to quick quick um, 
how to customize each desktop environment and I'm going to show around so this is the Fedora Mate here I already did the customization and I already have the way I like it I already have all the software that I need to, to use uh, so using the same home partition uh, you can have multiple desktop environment so there's a good way to sometimes you want to use the norm or you want to use the XFCE or Mate or Cinnamon Desktop uh, LXQT LXDE uh, LX uh, I even forgot the name there's a lot of names there so my next video is going to be how to install the XFCE desktop environment uh, if you like the video please subscribe please share please uh, like and uh, uh, and uh, and inscreva uh, por favor inscreva no canal se você gostou do vídeo e compartilhe o vídeo that's it for now I'll see you in the next video